Hi, my name is Yuri Baldwin Lola Peterson. Animator, cartoonist, filmmaker, entrepreneur, businessman, artist. And today we're going to be doing some face molding. So this is the finished product, the mold of my face that I did. And then we put liquid latex after it was dry in on the inside. So liquid latex is going to dry and then it will and then it will be two masks. One rubber mask and then one mold mask. Once the liquid latex dries, we can pull it off of the mold. So yeah, so I hope you enjoy, and I hope you enjoy the video, and and I've been doing this a long time, since high school, since my sophomore year of high school. My teacher, Chad Woods, at Britney College Prep taught me how to do face molding, and it's so much fun. I love face molding. It's such a great media, and it really ties with prop making and special effects for film and animation and media. So yeah, I hope you enjoy and I hope you learn a lot. And for the liquid latex part, a lot of people are allergic to latex, so do not do that part. And if you do do that part, then get some help. Get someone else to do it, okay? But don't break out. No one do that. Alright, I hope you enjoy face molding and you can mold any face you can mold any body parts the face the hands the arms the neck the chest the legs the feet the torso you can you can disguise the limit with face molding so yeah i hope you enjoy this and this is our first this is the first video i've done on face molding the face we're starting big white with the face and each month we'll do a different body part. So this month is face. Next month will probably be arms, then hands, then feet, then legs, then torso, chest, all the body parts. And you can and you can mold like different parts too. You can mold like anything, like a bowl or a cup or anything. You can mold anything, not just body parts. Molding is so much fun. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Let the magic begin. Alright everybody, so today I'm going to be doing, going to do some practical effects face molding, creating a plaster mask of my face, okay. So first, we will put on the Vaseline so it doesn't, so the plaster pills doesn't stick to my skin, and Vaseline helps that. So I'm gonna put that on my face. All over the face, everywhere. Here we go. I'm going to put some on my hands so it doesn't stick to my hands either. Vaseline is a great tip that you must do before you face mold on any part of your body. The hands, the feet, the legs, the arms, the face, especially the face. Then I'm going to put plaster pills i gonna put it in the water and then lay it on my face, on every part of my face. Then to let it dry. Okay, so the Vaseline's on my face. So we're gonna go to the next part in a minute. Okay, welcome back. Don't do part two. Part one was putting the Vaseline on my face. So the plaster pills, when I put it 
on my skin doesn't stick when I when the when the plaster mold of my face is dry. Okay, so now part two, we're gonna start putting the plaster pale. So the first thing I'm gonna get I cut all these strips with my exacto knife or scissors. So I cut the road strips. I should have enough for my entire face to do the castor mold cast. So then I put it in water. Right. See? Right to the edge of my, my head. Not to get the hair. Okay. I'm gonna cover every part of the face. Right, then we're gonna let it dry. I told him to I'm gonna make sure I can breathe. So not over the over the nose holes, the nostrils. The nostrils are gonna stay open, then we can cover it later when the when it dries. I can like cover it. When it's off my face and all dried, okay, take some more of the pieces. Now I'm gonna shut up now, because now I'm gonna cover my mouth. But I can still breathe through my nose. So you can cover your mouth, just don't cover your nose, so you can still breathe.
Oh, that's the longest I've ever not said anything. Look at that. That's my face. My face mold. Check that out. It's a plaster boner. I haven't done this since high school. I need to take a shower. Oh, yep. So you see, face molding is so much fun, but it's quite a process. Now, see how I took it off? It was so much easier because I put the Vaseline all on every inch of the skin that I was going to apply the, the plaster on. So you need to do this. This is the important part because that was so much easier. Because if I didn't have Vaseline, it would have pulled my skin right off my soul. I'm like a zombie. Check that out. Is that cool? Look at me. I'm all crazy now. I'm all crazy. Yeah. Check that out, ladies and gentlemen. Plaster boner. Now I'm gonna let this dry, and then once it's dry, I can I can apply some more to all the holes. You see. There's a little bit of holes scattered on the plaster. I have to cover that with more plaster. Wet it and then put it, then I'm gonna cover my nose because I needed to breathe. I need to breathe some here. So I'm gonna cover the nose up just a little bit and let it dry. And once all the holes are covered up with more plaster, then let it dry. And then, and then it's time to, to do the le liquid latex. Latex. Now only use latex if you're not allergic. A lot of people are allergic to this. I'm not allergic to it, so I'm safe. But you shouldn't use latex. You need to get somebody else to, to do the latex part, okay? Because some people are allergic to latex. So do not use that. No. Have somebody else help you. But once it's all dry, the plaster mold, then you can, you can smooth it in the inside of the mold. Put the latex and then let it dry and then once it's dry like a day or two then you can pull it apart pull it apart pull it apart but yeah look at that not too shabby i say myself look at that I look like a mad doctor now i need to take a shower but yeah part two step two time for part three Time to now. I just took off the plaster mold off my face. Now it's now it's looking pretty dang good. Now it's time to cover up all the tiny holes and also the 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 small hole that I need to breathe while it was drying on my face. So I'm gonna cover everything. And then once all the holes are covered, it can dry. All the holes must be covered. I must really look like a train wreck looking like this. <laughs> With all the plaster remains on my body. My face. Hmm. Shit happens. <laughs> Shit really much happens. And we can do it with any body part. We can do, we can do the plaster mold with any body part, like the hands, the arms, the legs, the feet, the chest. You can do this with any body part, or not even body part. You can do this with any. You can you can plaster anything. Just remember to put the Vaseline on first so it doesn't stick, because then it will rip off. <laughs> 
that wouldn't be feel nice. That wouldn't feel lovely. Did a good job. No more holes. Done. Looks pretty good. Maybe just a little bit more on the top. Yeah. But on the forehead, it's a little bit more reinforcement. But it's a bummer. And you can paint it, you can paint the caster mold, you can paint it and you can also paint the latex one, like you can rip off the latex on the inside and then you get a rubber mask out of the cast as well, so you get two masks, one cast, one rubber, the liquid latex. But you need special paint for latex rubber, but this one you can use any paint you want. I love molding, molding so much fun. Voila, now I can let this dry. I can let this dry overnight. Once it all's dry, once it's all dry, we can start adding the liquid latex. See, look, cast foam on my face. Mm -hmm. Look at that. You can see my face. This is a cast of my face. My face is actually pretty small. <laughs> all right, everybody, time for the next step. Did the face painting on my face and made the mold for my face. See? <laughs> mold boma. <laughs> now it's time for the next step, which is the liquid latex right here, which we're going to spread it on the inside of the mask and make a, a rubber latex mask of the mold. Now, this part is not for everybody. So, because liquid, because latex. Some people are allergic to, so if you are allergic to, I want you to stop before you get this and get help from somebody else because I don't want, because you don't want to break out, okay, because a lot of people are allergic. I am not allergic, so I'm safe, so yeah, but if you are allergic, do not do this yourself. Get someone help, but just don't do this part. Just do the mask. You don't have to do the liquid latex part, but I'm going to do it because I'm a professional. I've been doing this since high school. Alright, so here we go. Oh, it's gonna smell. It's gonna smell. Liquid latex definitely smells. You get this at art shop, at like arts and crafts stores and stuff, like Ben Franklin or Michaels, or maybe even Amazon. So look at this. Oh, ah, someone farted. Boston Taboon. 
Timon from The Lion King. Okay. Liquid latex. Look at that beauty. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Okay, enough time to spread it on the inside of the mask. Alright. <clears throat> Again, if you're allergic to liquid latex, do not, do not, do not do this part. I'm a professional, okay? So I can do it. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna pour this into the mask and spread it around. That would be easier. Oh, on the inside. I'm not allergic, so I can get it on me. But if you are allergic, don't get it on you. Take the mask and spread it. Make sure every little inch is covered. And then we can let it dry. And the latex will dry and then it will become a lovely mask, and then we can pull it off, and then we have two masks. A lovely latex mask, and then the face one. And we can paint it if we want to, or just leave it like this, either one. You can use, for the mold, you can use any paint. But for the, for the liquid latex, you have to get a special paint for latex masks. I don't, I don't have those, I don't have them right now, so we're not gonna, I'm not gonna paint the, the latex mask, but I can paint the mold mask because I have lots of paint because I'm an artist. Okay. Oh, it really stinks. Definitely stinks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how does that look? Good, right? The latex is all over the mask. So yeah, now we're gonna let this dry in like a day or two, we can peel the latex mask off. Like we can peel the, the latex off and then we'll have a latex mask, just like a mask mold. Thank you all, thank you for Tuning in, oh yeah, and you can, this is kind of, I love face molding, and it can be used in film, and animation, movie props, so yeah, it's pretty fun, it's pretty fun, so yeah, thank you for tuning in with me.